After having walked in nature, we want to get rid of dirt that is stuck to the shoes as soon as possible. And we forget that this is the soil without which we cannot live. Soil helps meet 95% of human nutritional needs. It is essential for growing crops that we eat and feed our livestock. The soil also is a home to many beneficial microorganisms. If you take a handful of soil, then there will be 50 billion invisible creatures in your hands. They supply nutrients, heal the earth, and even heal people. Microbes are used to make drugs such as penicillin. In addition, the soil saves the planet from overheating. It holds more carbon than the atmosphere and all plants combined. The release of carbon from the soil would cause a huge greenhouse effect. But now the soil is very exhausted. In U.S. agricultural land, it runs low, 10 times faster than it can be recovered. Intensive agriculture destroys the fertile soil layer most of all. To get high yields, farmers focus on one crop without changing plants over time. One crop system actively reduces organic content from the soil, promotes the pathogenic microbes' development. Farmers spray their fields with pesticides more often to control disease development. But then, the microbes that feed the soil die. Chemical treatments also kill weeds. However, their roots hold the soil together. Cover crop roots have the same function, but farmers rarely plant them in the off-season. After harvesting, the fields stay empty because the winds and rains easily destroy the topsoil. Plowing also destroys soil integrity and structure. As the experience of scientists from Minnesota has shown, even a cultivator scatters soil as much as 3 meters around. At the same time, part of it is picked up by the wind and blown into the atmosphere. Tractors, combine harvesters, and other large agricultural equipment on the contrary firm the soil. Under the weight of equipment, the soil loses its porous structure. As a result, microorganisms die from a lack of oxygen. In addition, helpful microbes do not withstand soil salting. Excessive field irrigation or use of groundwater in coastal areas worsens the soil condition. The large-scale deforestation also greatly affects the soil condition. Every year, 15 billion trees are cut down on the planet. Plants provide the soil with important organic substances. The stumps cannot do this. Urbanization also causes the soil destruction. For example, tar-based or concrete-based highway covers prevent water from soaking into the ground. This kills billions of microorganisms, causes flooding, and soil erosion. Also, we should take into account toxic industrial waste buried in the ground, vehicle exhaust gases whose hazardous compounds enter the ground, recycling of plastic, lithium batteries, and devices with mercury. It is no wonder that over the past 150 years, half of the world's most fertile soil has disappeared. Such losses, according to experts, will soon lead to the speedy decline in agricultural yields. Regions with once rich soils will begin to turn into deserts. Residents of these places will have to move to other areas. The world will also experience more landslides, floods, and dust storms. According to research by scientists at the University of Utah, over the past 20 years, the number of these storms in the United States has already doubled. In 2021, a real dust hurricane hit Texas. Its speed was 70 miles per hour and it caused a lot of destruction. To avoid such cataclysms, it is first vital to change the approach to farming. The best thing would be a transition to organic farming. It is based on the natural way of growing crops without chemical treatments, plowing, or killing weeds. However, this method does not provide high yields. It is impossible to provide food for all the inhabitants of the planet using it. If it is impossible to give up intensive farming, it must be continued with maximum safety for the soil. So, it is important to use crop rotation to grow different plants on one land piece. This approach will not reduce yields. But the soil will not be so exhausted since the one crop absorbs the same nutrients. In addition, it will reduce the number of pests in the soil. Then, fewer pesticide treatments will be required. Instead of chemicals, you can use insects, which will decrease the number of pests without damaging the soil. Ladybugs, mantids, and even spiders will prove to be beneficial to farmers. Farmers should take a closer look at genetically modified crops. Such plants are resistant to diseases and almost do not require pesticide treatments. To enrich the land with organics, agricultural producers must sow ground-covering crops and leave plant byproducts in the fields. 
it is better to plow at the optimal depth and at low speed. This will significantly reduce soil loss. Refusal of mass deforestation and planting trees will significantly improve the fertile soil layer. If it is not done now, according to Maria Helena Semedo, an expert at the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, the soil will become infertile in 60 years. Then it is unlikely that we will survive.